Okay, now we're going to learn how to pre-schedule a email on MailerLite. Um, we'll go over here to MailerLite. So this is um, what it looks like on the dashboard of MailerLite. You'll click Create Campaign. From here, you choose the subject. So something that draws attention. And if you want to add an emoji, you'll just click this little smiley and click an emoji there. So let's say we want a happy face, always something positive. We'll go down and say next content. From here, we will go down and say rich text editor. You'll always want to choose that one. And then you're in your email, so you can design your email. So usually I'll say hi, personalize it with a name. And that's how you put a name in. And then email, 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 testing, testing, warm regards, PT. That's how I always address it. Um, after this, we'll come over here to size and make sure it's always at 15. 15 is the best size. And then when you're done with that, you say done editing. Um, it'll take you to this. And from here, you'll go into your drafts because what it just did is it put it in the drafts. So we click drafts. And it's right here, something that draws attention. So from here, I'm going to come in here. It looks like we've done the subject. We made the content and now we need to do recipients. So I'll click recipients. From here, you can choose who you want to send it to. So I usually do all active subscribers, and that clicks every group for you. But if you don't want to do that and you just want to do one certain group, you can just click that group. From there, you say next review and confirm. Once you get to this page, um, it shows you what your subject is here. Here is your content. So if you want to double check that, you can just click the box that it's in. And it, you can um, triple check what you said, make sure all the spelling and grammar is correct. And then up here, just say X. It's pretty cool too, if you press preview, you can also click up here to see what it looks like on a mobile phone or a desktop. And like I said, just X out when you're done with it. And then it shows that your recipients is all subscribers. So next schedule. So this is where you're going to decide if you want to pre-schedule or if you want to send it now. If you want to send that email right now, you would just click send now and send and you'd be good to go. If you want to do it later, which is what this video is about pre-scheduling, you'll click send later. Click on this calendar, click the day. Let's say we want to send it this Saturday and the time and it's in military time. So I always send emails at 10 a.m. So I'll change that to 10 a.m. Tells you the time zone that it's sending in. So 10 a.m. our time, Pacific Daylight. And then you'll just come down here and press send. And that is the end of it. I'm not going to press send because it was just a test, but that would finish it for you.